Hey, this is Juice from Juice Pops Happy Hour, bringing you another quickie. All right, where to start? I guess uh, we'll go ahead and start with the cigar. Now, this cigar was supposed to be in last month's shipment, but they didn't send it out until this month. So anyway, here it is. It's the uh, CI's Blend Lab RH5524. Right here. RH5554. Uh, this is a blend by Cigars International. Uh, they didn't really send any information with it, so I had to look it up. But uh, just off the bat, this cigar looks wonderful. Who am I tired? Um, the band on it is just so simple, yet yeah, I love it. Look at that. Just nothing to it. And then that RH5524 holder. So you guys can actually see it. It actually looks like someone did that by hand. And it's not focusing. But it looks like someone actually took a pen and wrote on there RH5524. So I don't know if that's a computer's job, but it actually looks like someone took a pen and wrote on it. So that's pretty cool. Um, it's a five and a half inch stick, I believe, uh, by a 54 ring gauge. And if you look here, it has a pigtail on it, which is very Cuban-esque, very classic Cuban-esque like. So that's pretty cool. It's getting chopped off anyway, but it's kind of cool. And then the end of it has a, oh, I can't remember the name of it, it's, but it's just loose. You can see here. So I like it. It's pretty cool. Um, just by looking at it, it looks like a nice cigar. It has some pef to it too. It's going to be, a, I think it's going to be a good smoke. Um, it has a Habano wrapper, I believe. It all, everything is from the Dominican Republic in the cigar. Uh, I think it's a Habano wrapper. So I'm expecting. Uh, some nice pepper and heat from it. Uh, filler, I think, is a Dominican Corojo. If that's how you pronounce it. A Dominican Corojo. Ligero. So, there you go. Uh, can't say I've had any cigars that had a Corojo filler. But I know I love Corojo. Corojo. I can't even pronounce it. C O R O J O. Corojo wrappers, and I love them. And especially with Ligero, I'm expecting good things from the cigar. Even though it's from the Dominican Republic, I'll let that slide just because of the tobacco that's in it. Now, the binder is a Dominican Criolla 98. Never heard of Criolla, so whatever. Uh, so, yeah, I'm expecting good things. I'm expecting a nice pepper kick to it, some heat, uh, cedar, earth, wood. I think it's going to be a very balanced smoke and a very good one at that. Really looking forward to it. So that's the uh, CI RH5554. You can find it on their site, uh, cigarsinternational.com blend lab slash blend lab. So all right, moving on. What else do we have? All right, comics this week. Pretty heavy week in comics. So that's pretty nice. All right. From DC, we have Voodoo, number six, right here. Uh, last issue left off with Voodoo finding out that um, she's a clone and that she is in a database to be hunted. So, there's that. Next we have IDW's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, number seven. Right here. This looks like a good issue. If anything, if the issue is anything like the cover, it's gonna be pretty awesome. Um, last issue left off, a French martial artist was stabbed by the clan, Foot Clan. And, um, what's his name? Baxter. St 
Stockman, I believe, uh, the scientist guy, uh, puts out the, uh, oh, the Mausers. Remember the Mausers back in the day? So uh, the turtles are going to have to contend with them, most likely. Then we have Justice League Dark, number six. Uh, if you remember last issue, uh, what did happen last issue? They combined the Enchantress with June Moon, I believe her name is, and then the team all walked away from um, Madame Xanadu, and she doesn't want them to leave. All right, Batman the Dark Knight. Who's that on the front cover? Bane. Awesome. Here we go. Looking forward to that. I don't think, uh, hmm. I try to do the comics that me, Pop, and Rage all get together, and I don't know if they're going to get this one, but look at that. How awesome is that? Bane's going to break Batman, and then Batman's going to come back and kill him. All right, Aquaman number six. Next issue, Aquaman was in the desert, got saved by the Navy, I believe, and that was that. It was pretty, meh, it was Aquaman. Um, I have no energy doing this video. I just got done at the gym, came home, and now I'm hungry. But anyway, back to Aquaman. Uh, what was going to happen? They found some something like a hologram. Um, there's a loud noise coming from something. I just can't remember. But basically, Aquaman got stuck in the desert, got saved by Navy SEALs, went home, and he, him and his girl right here are going to go fight crime. There you go. Just gave you the scoop on Aquaman. Then we have All-Star Western. Number six. All-Star Western in the past couple issues has been a big letdown. But in, I'm hoping that this issue picks back up. Uh, last issue, we found uh, Dr. Arkham. <sighs> uh, they were climbing in a cave, got attacked by these cave dwellers with no eyes, and sharp teeth, and spears. And uh, Jonah Hex kicked butt and then came to face, face to face with this huge looking bat. So I'm just wondering when the Waynes are going to make an entrance here. They're going to have to. I mean, a bat, underground, bat cave, Batman, Bruce Wayne, the Waynes. So yeah. Um, if you watch the past couple of videos, you'll know that we are switching some things around. We're going to have a co-host on the show now. Just waiting to see what we're going to do with that. It is Juice and Pop's happy hour. As of right now, it's Juice and Pop's happy hour. Now with Rage. And so we're working on some things. If you guys have any idea of what we might be able to call it, let us know. Uh, that's pretty much the only thing that's really going to change is just the name. If we even change the name, Rage says he doesn't care. But, you know, if everyone's pitching in to help this, help this thing run smoothly, we want to give everyone you know, an equal share in it. So we'll figure out a way to work them in. Uh, so other than that, that's it. I'm going to start making these videos earlier in the day or something because I am. So, uh, <sighs> yep, exactly. I'm tired. Um, I'll definitely check out my wife's videos. She is starting her little vlog uh, where she does her comics, her one cigar that she has, which is a cigarillo, by the way, Mrs. Juice. Um, so what does she do? She reads Wonder Woman when she gets around to it. Uh, she has one cigar that she got back in like September that is still in my humidor. Uh, let's see what else. Oh, she talks about nail polish and stuff like that. And... Who knows what she's going to talk about next week. But definitely check it out. She's she's a hoot. 
Um, with that, I'm going to end this video before I drag it on any longer. Peace out.